uh, Mick Box of Uri Heap, and you are watching our Smick. And um, plenty of questions coming through, which is really cool. And this one is from Darren Priest from Palm Bay, Florida. And his question is, I've been a Heap fan for many years and seen you live in various places, uh, from Blackburn to Castle Donaldson to Germany and others. Fantastic. I'm a fan of all the Heap singers, John Lawton being his favourite. But I wanted to ask, what did your short-time singer Steph Fontaine sound like? Was he more of a Golby style or higher like Bernie Shaw? Often wondered. Um, well, he was kind of in between all that. You know, He kind of had the range to, to, to cope with all of it, and he had great potential. But he just... Um, he just did not fit into how, how, how we work and how we do things. Um, I can only say that, you know, we were at rehearsals and he went out to buy something to eat, a sandwich, and came back four hours later and things like that. We were on tour in America and uh, I can't remember the place it was that we were paying, but um, he went to the right name, wrong city. Um, so we had to cancel a gig and we don't like that. And so in the end, at the end of that tour, you know, it kind of, we did dissolve the whole thing because it, it obviously wasn't going to work on, 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 a, on the level of professionalism that we work on. So, um, but he did have a good range and, and I was very hopeful that, um, Steph might have come to fruition, but he didn't. And it was a long, long way off to be honest in the end, but, um, Never mind. that was just one of the journeys we took and then we ended up with Bernie, of course, which has stayed with us forever. So that's, you know, out of bad comes good. So that's really cool. And you do say, hopefully, Kerslake is OK. He's a legend like you. Well, thank you very much. Um, I speak with Lee, you know, at least two or three times a week. And, uh, you know, he's fighting a lot of um, health issues, which are awful. I don't know how he's getting through, but he's a fighter. And um, it's the music that's keeping him going. And um, he's, he's recorded his own album. Um, called Eleventeen, I think, and um, so that's keeping him going. You know, the music is definitely um, a focus, which is just wonderful. So, um, thanks for asking, mate, and happy days. See you later. Bye bye.